Hey Libra, welcome to your monthly reading for March. I am Charlene Lizette. We're going to pull three cards for career and finances, three cards for general overall energy, and three cards for love and romance. We've got some oracle cards. There's a lot of really good uh, cards that we're going to be pulling out here for you this month to find out what you can expect overall. All right, so let me dive right in here and take a peek and see what's going on for you. When I was tuning into the amulet for your reading from Star Sea Jewels, the I wanted to take Athena out. I wanted to put something else in place. And Source was like, no, you have to keep Athena. Athena, Athena is a really beautiful goddess of a warrior. She's a warrior goddess and also wisdom. All right. She uses her intellect, her capacity to think outside the box, her mental agility to achieve the success that she seeks. So maybe, just maybe, take that as a message as you are progressing this week at, or this month, I should say, as things are unfolding for you, all right? Go research also all about Athena there are messages around her as a goddess that will support you during this month. I'm just pulling out the rest of the oracles and then we're going to dive in and see what's going on for you, okay? I also want to say too that your energy is really chill right now. I'm very, I'm very mellowed out. I'm very relaxed. Woo! And I think that is reflective of either the energy that you need to tune into for the month or the energy that you are already exuding. Sorry, I want to go tuck in the desks or the tape, the desks, I noticed it wasn't perfect. There we go. Okay, let's dive in and see what's going on. Starting off with Vertex here, we have Karmic Points Industry, Faded Connection, Turning Point. Vertex in astrology indicates a uh, certain trans at a moment in time, kind of kismet, faded, uh, for lack of a better term here, where you end up meeting, aligning, connecting, or having something revealed to you in your life that uh, is reflective of either your career, your love life, your personal life, your personal evolution. The fact that I put it at the top here with your career and your finances, it tells me that with your career and your finances, there are a lot of truths being revealed. For a lot of you here with the judgment card, I think that you are recognizing and realizing that potentially the career you currently have or the job you currently have, where you're currently at, isn't necessarily serving you for your highest good. It's not supporting the advancement that you are seeking. Interestingly enough, judgment indicates a reckoning of sort, uh, answering the call from the universe, a spiritual awakening, a moment in time where everything that you have done up into that, into that particular moment is reviewed, reflected, and assessed. And with the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords, it's almost like you're getting an aha moment, if you will. An aha moment on where or what in your career and in your finances has caused you great suffering, great difficulty, challenges, obstacles, or uh, dissatisfaction, okay? Now, as we move into your reading with sunbathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation, we talk more about this uh, awakening or reckoning or answering the call of the universe. The sun bathing uh, oracle card talks about act being activated, receiving a download. And judgment card also talks about receiving a download. This month may be very spiritual for you. It may be a month where you are seeing where you need to go. A lot of times when you all work together with me or you, you reach out to work together with me, you say, I know I'm destined for something greater. I just don't know the how, the how to get to where that, where that something greater is. And this is a month where I think you're realizing and recognizing that you need to take the steps you're guided to take here. With the three of wands, looking out into the future, thinking about the future, focusing on the future, focusing on um, what you need to leave behind and what potential directions are available to you. For some of you, this could indicate traveling, moving, education, exploring, or waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for that next sign, symbol, or confirmation from the universe that it's time now for you to go somewhere else or to do another thing. There is a lot of indication here for travel, whether it's short-term or long-term, or for your career with the Three of Wands and the world as well. 
The Queen of Pentacles smack dab in the middle of your reading to me is a really positive omen. The Queen of Pentacles is very mature, very diligent, very grounded, very rooted. She has created her financial stability, her financial security, and that is what has caused her to amass great wealth into her life. If you are currently struggling financially or you find yourself having money blocks or repeating the same type of patterns when it comes to your finances and you can't seem to get out ahead of your finances, this is going to be a really good month for you to start recognizing what those money blocks are, what your prosperity potential is, and how to activate the abundance techniques in your life so that you can create an actionable abundance plan to help you attract cash flow with ease into your life. With the world card here, again, travel indicative of experiencing the world or completion of a cycle that's happening here. For some of you, this could mean moving work, moving careers, moving homes, traveling, exploring, seeing something from a different perspective, and also acknowledging and recognizing that this cycle in this particular area of your life, for a lot of you, your finances, is coming to an end. And I don't mean that you're going to like not have money anymore. I mean that you're recognizing that you can't keep going down that same path. It's not serving you for your highest good. You're recognizing here that you have to you have to go down a new path now to help you attract whatever financial goals that you are seeking, right? Yes, you can manifest. Yes, you can say positive affirmations. Yes, you can do EFT tapping. But if you don't work through those money blocks, you're always going to get looped right back into the same cycle. Now let's dive into your love reading here. We have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the inside of awareness. I, I think that's just overall, honestly, overall your energy are recognizing that you can't be in denial anymore about the patterns, the behaviors, the way of being, the way of thinking um, that um, maybe you've been, you know, unconsciously or consciously participating in or being a part of it's just not serving you anymore it's not helping you it's not guiding you it's not directing you in a uh, journey in your life that is supportive of where you want to go we have the five of pentacles temperance and the hierophant two major arcana here in your love life you do have four major arcana so this month could be a month with a little bit of changes here Temperance is about alchemy. It's about ebbing and flowing with the universe. The Five of Pentacles does talk about feeling left out, isolated, or um, feeling like you don't have the partnerships or relationships or the attention in romance that you are seeking. The Hierophant talks about conformity, the status quo, um, following the tried and true method versus trying to think outside the box, a box when it comes to your love and romance. The Hierophant also indicates um, deeper studying, deeper reflection, codependency and the devil, eight of cups and chemistry. And let's see, express your love. Woo. Woo. And we have the Queen of Pentacles again and the Eight of Swords. Interesting. Look, I'm going to, and the ten of, ten, uh, ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Magician. Okay, I really like this. I like how we're wrapping this reading up. This is really interesting, though, uh, as an outsider looking in. I think there is a pattern here around your love life, around your romantic partners or your choice in romantic partners that has kept you in this poverty mindset, the scarcity mindset, or trapped in this cycle of money blocks or some sort of blockage. If it's not money, it's something else. It has to do with your stability, your security, your foundation, though, because of the pentacles. Now, with the devil and codependency here, I think you're recognizing and realizing how maybe you attach to partners in your life as a way to avoid being stable, secure, and rooted on your own. With the chemistry card and the eight of cups, um, a recognition here, a realization that, like, yes, it's okay uh, to be romantically attracted to somebody, sexually attracted to somebody, but is that enough to maintain a long-term relationship? With express your love, the queen of pentacles and the eight of swords, uh, recognizing how of how value valuable you are, how worthy you are, how deserving you are, and also recognizing that maybe the partners that you are attracting in your life right now don't respect, honor, or value you as they should be. Therefore, they do not deserve you. Okay. I am going to pop your, um, actually I'm going to pop this video here to help you out with all this energy. Okay. And if you want to book a session with me, take any of my courses, sign up to my free newsletter, sign up to my school, all that stuff. It's in the description box below. Ditto to pick up Athena from Star Sea Jewels. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later alligators. Peace out. Bye.